Once you have created your raw image on an external hard drive using BootMed Plus, you'll need to connect the external hard drive to a working computer and then download and install OSF mount. You'll find a link to this on the BootMed Plus tutorial page for imaging a failing hard drive. So, either go to the BootMed Plus tutorial page or type this link into your browser and scroll down when you get there to the download section of the page. Click on the appropriate link and you should begin downloading OSF mount. Once OF OSF mount downloads, double click on the file to execute it and install the program. The first thing you'll see is that Windows asks you whether or not you would like to run it. You do. Click run. Then it will ask you if you would like OSF mount to be able to make changes to your computer. Click yes. And OSF mount setup will begin. Click next. Accept the agreement. Click next, 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 and install. Then click finish. And here is OSF mount. Make sure your external hard drive is connected so that you can access the DD file, the image file that you created. Once it is, click mount new. Then click here under image file. Browse to your external hard drive. In my case, I copied the image file to my desktop. So I will browse to my image file and double click it. Here it is, driveimage.dd. One thing you need to be sure is you need to deselect the read only drive checkbox. If you do not uncheck this box, you may have trouble accessing your protected files. Once you're done, click OK. OSF will now um, notify applications that the new drive has been installed. And there it is. Your drive is now drive E. So to access it, double click. And it will open up a Windows Explorer window with the contents of your hard drive. So to browse to your files, most likely you have Windows Vista or 7. You want to double click on the users folder and then your username. You most likely will be prompted that you don't have permissions to access this folder. Click continue. Windows will now give you permissions to access this folder. If you have any troubles in that step, unmount your drive and remount it being sure to uncheck the read only box. So now here you are. You have access to um, all of your files. So now you'll be able to access your pictures and your other documents and drag them and drop them to your computer. Here I will drag and drop these documents, these pictures, to my desktop. And there you go. Now you're able to browse your hard drive and recover your documents. When you're done, you will need to select the drive in the OSF mount software and click dismount. This will now disconnect the image from your computer and return your computer to the way it was before you used OSF mount. You'll no longer be able to access your files and we'll have to redo this process to be able to access this drive again.